Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, if you're new here, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Make sure that you subscribe if you resonate with me. Make sure that you like, share, leave me a comment, let me know. This is gonna be good for the sign of Pisces. So Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Or if you're connecting with a Pisces, these messages may resonate with you as well. This is a general love reading. Please keep that in mind. Not every message may be for you. Also, because it is general, swap the roles if you need to. So energies can be interchangeable, so please keep that in mind. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So go look and see what's going on. We are in June. So June 2022, what do we got for my Pisces? What do they need to know in love? Pisces, person on your mind, person you are connecting with. What do you need to know in love? Pisces, what do we got for my Pisces? in love june 2022 person on your mind person you are connecting with let's take a look pisces what's up with pisces how are they showing up this month you might be in separation with someone wanting to come out of separation with someone here um it could feel like it's kind of a bit of a toxic energy you may feel a little bit codependent or um yeah you may be in separation with someone where the energy is somewhat codependent you could be connecting with a capricorn this person this person may be at a physical distance for some of you as well but i feel like you are either contemplating separating from someone or you are literally in separation with this person for those of you i'm connecting with all right let's take a look at your person how is pisces person showing up this month All right, so this person may be in a space of really trying to put themselves first. I feel like you may be connecting with someone who could be entertaining something new, if I'm being honest with you. Could be entertaining something new. What's the mutual energy? Healing family issues. Yeah, someone here completely retreated their energy. Pulled back a little bit here. Uh, let's take a look and see what else we can figure out for my Pisces. What do we got? So I feel like those of you I'm connecting with, there's something here about healing, maybe past traumas, healing some sort of family issues. I feel like there is a mutual energy of wanting to heal this, but your person may have another situation that they're moving towards, something else that they're working on. All right, let's take a look and see. Pisces, how are you showing up this month? June, 2022. Oof. How is Pisces showing up this month? June. How is your person showing up? June. Whew. Oh my goodness. What's the mutual energy here? All right. Let's take a look. I feel like if your person's connecting with someone new, it is, I mean, it's showing up as a rebound situation. All right. On your side, you're letting someone, you're making the decision to let someone go. That's what you're doing this month. If you haven't already made that choice, you're making a decision to let someone go and move away from this energy here, all right? You feel like this person got away from you. You feel like things just aren't going the way that you wanted them to and you're wanting to move on to something else. This person may want another chance with you. There is an energy here of this person loving you. Even more so, maybe you don't even know how this person really feels towards you, right? I love you more than I've ever found a way to say to you, but they are dating. Right, I'm back in the dating scene, making an effort to move on from you and an energy of like trying to put themselves first here. They do get jealous if you're dating anyone else or they do get jealous at the idea of you dating someone else. And this, on this person's side and their energy, there's something here about they never meant to hurt you. You're not who they think they are, all right? Mutual energy here, it's like maybe feeling a little bit helpless, feeling trapped by outside circumstances. This person or you, someone here tries to deny their feelings and someone really wants the freedom to pursue whatever they want to pursue, their happiness, wanting to be single, wanting to be free from a commitment here. All right, so let's take a look and see what else we get here. You could be connected with another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You don't have to be. I'm definitely seeing some sort of ending here, Pisces. There's an ending. Could be with an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius could be with a Virgo as well, but I'm definitely seeing a withdrawal here, all right? It could be because this person took too long to offer you something that you wanted, all right, for some of you. Pisces, what do we got for my Pisces? Some moon rising Venus. This is someone that you thought 
you could have, or like you saw like a happily ever after with, someone that you thought had potential for you to have like the end all be all with, Pisces. All right, let's take a look. Bottom of the deck is justice. Could be Libra that you're dealing with here. What are you thinking about, Pisces? That came out sideways. So I feel like you guys are really thinking about the fact that there's a lack of stability in this connection. All right, you're thinking about the fact that you feel like there was some sort of missed opportunity here. Crying over spilt milk, um, thinking a lot about the past, reflecting on the fact that there was a lack of stability here. This person wasn't offering you uh, necessarily like what you wanted from them, right? Which was something stable. Could be connecting with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. How do you feel towards this person? King of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you guys, and a lot of you may be connecting with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel like in your feelings, it's like you feel like this person was non-committal. You feel like this person wasn't able to give you what you wanted. You feel like this person may have kept a lot of secrets from you or they really held back from you. How do you view this person? Ten of Wands. You may view them as they have a lot of like external things going on. All right. That's that helpless energy trapped by external circumstances like there's nothing they can do you view them as maybe they're healing from something you view them as you, it could be a Sagittarius that's here at the bottom of the deck you view them as like this relationship or this connection was like a heavy burden right it took a lot out of you let's take a look at your person what are they thinking about wow justice in the moon <sighs> Pisces cancer energy here I feel like this person has a lot of fears when it comes to being in a commitment with you, all right? They think about that, whatever that whatever that looks like for them. They could be have like wishy-washy energy, but it's because they have a lot of fears in being in something committed and giving to this connection, right? Having reciprocity, having this equal give and take energy between the two of you. How do they feel towards you? Six of Wands, they're very attracted to you. They feel like maybe you're getting attention from other people or yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Some of you may be entrepreneurs. Um, you'd have like work in the public or get a lot of attention like online, social media, etc. They view you as very attractive um, and you get a lot of attention. That could be why they're scared to be in a commitment with you for some of you. How do they view you for pentacles? So they're viewing you in a space of, I mean, I feel like you guys completely withdrew your energy. You're holding back from them. All right. What's the mutual energy here? Five of Cups. There's a missed opportunity here. Mutually. Feeling like the cycle is completed. Feeling like you guys are moving on. There's an, there's an ending. Feeling like this is done. Mutually. What's the challenge position? The High Priestess. So somebody holding back. Somebody hiding their feelings. This is that denial energy here. It's much easier to deny my feelings for you. And that's what's in the challenge position. So I feel like there's somebody here who really held back a lot in this connection and that prevented it from becoming anything more serious. All right. Yeah, someone feels helpless. Someone feels trapped maybe to, I mean, there's outside circumstances here. Obviously, there it could be a third party. It could be for everyone, it's going to resonate a little bit differently, but what's challenging this connection is someone feels very trapped in their head surrounding opening up to this connection. There's a lot of fears here. It's showing up on your person's side. What's in the outcome this month for June? Page of Wands. There's some sort of communication. You could be connecting with an Aries. You also have Pisces here. Cancer. Um, but there is some sort of communication coming through. Page of Wands, right? So let's clarify what is out here. Pisces, let's see what's going on. Pisces, you have the strength card. Some of you could be connecting with a Leo. Pisces, I feel like, the, it just came out again. I feel like there's a lot of obstacles here between you and this person, all right? I feel like there's a lot of challenges in this connection. I feel like it's not an easy connection to, it's, it's a not, I'm hearing invest in. So it may not feel like it's easy to invest in this person because obviously in your feelings, you have the king of pentacles in reverse because you feel like, this person's not truly investing in it. So you may pull back your energy is what I'm getting here. What are you thinking about? This Ace of Pentacles, which wanted to come out sideways, that there, there's no stability in this connection. What is this Ace of Pentacles, Six of Swords? So you, it's time for you to move away. 
could be physical distance between the two of you. I feel like you guys are doing, yeah, a lot of reflecting. Seven of Pentacles, thinking about the past. What is this? Eight of Swords. Whatever this situation is where this person's trapped in their thoughts or trapped in their ways of doing things or feeling helpless, feeling like they can't pursue you, that's on your mind. Some of you may feel trapped to this person as well where it's like you're having a hard time letting it go. You Maybe because some of you really invested a lot of time into the situation, seven of pentacles. Like I invested an X amount of time into this connection. I was really anticipating this to turn into something more serious and you may be finding it difficult to walk away. But there is an energy here in your thoughts. Like you made up your mind. You're not going back and forth anymore. Yeah, you're not... You're not going to have another false start here, is what I'm getting. So let's take a look in your feelings. What is this King of Pentacles in reverse? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. The Hermit. So it could be a Virgo. Very strong Virgo here. Three of Swords. It's like a lot of you are really hurting over this separation. A lot of you are really hurting over moving in a new direction because you thought this was going to be something more than what it turned out to be. Right? You feel like there's an energy here of needing to withdraw, needing to really focus on yourself. You're tired of being stuck in limbo. You could be connecting with another Pisces. You view this person as the Ten of Wands, uh, this like WTF energy. Like, I thought we were on the same page. Like, what's going on here? What is this Ten of Wands and how you view this person? Whew. Some of you view this person as like they're having a new start with someone else. You could be connecting with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, all right? Maybe some of you feel like this person rejected you and now they're having a new beginning with someone else or they're focusing on someone else. I feel like you guys may view this person as, I feel like a lot of you are upset about this, right? Queen of Wands in reverse. I feel like a lot of you are really upset about this. This is a lot of fire energy here. You are very attracted to this person, but some of you feel like, you know, I hate to say this, but like you may be feeling like you weren't enough. You may be feeling like this person rejected you to go towards something completely new. What are they thinking about? What is this moon and justice energy here for Pisces person? What are they thinking about when it comes to their connection with Pisces this month? See, they're really thinking about some sort of new beginning that they're investing in, okay? That's what they're focused on. Could be with an Aquarius for some of you. How do they feel towards you? Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Why is the Queen of Pentacles? They feel like it's something more stable that they're moving towards. The sun. They could have children involved. Yeah, see, what was I saying? Stability. This person feels like whatever situation they're moving towards is more stable. You see how you have the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands? You have two feminine energies here. And the king of cups here so someone has multiple options is what i'm getting and i feel like your person and swap the roles if you need to but your person's more focused on like what's the more stable choice for me they view you as you're kind of holding back right now what is this four of pentacles the magician gemini energy and the fool aries what is this seven of cups you're holding back because you know this person has options and they view you in that way because maybe they're going towards something new. That's what I'm getting. Your person has new love all up on their side. <sighs> all right, mutual energies is five of cups. A missed opportunity. What is this five of cups? Ten of swords in reverse and the ten of wands. So mutually, you guys have an energy here of healing. I feel like that's more your energy than theirs, but take it how it resonates. Healing from this burden and this is how you view them so you're healing from this energy of feeling like this person left you out or feeling like you're i'm getting like not good enough but healing from this energy of this is feeling like a burden this is too much it's stressing you out it's causing a lot of conflict in your life and you're healing from that is what i'm getting and your challenge position is this high priestess why is this here high priestess now you have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. High Priestess and the Queen of Swords in reverse. Somebody here got cut off. Could have been ghosted, blocked, but there's no communication is what I'm getting for those of you I'm connecting with. Which is interesting because in your outcome, there's communication. 
Page of Wands. What is this communication in the outcome? The moon. You don't even see this coming. What is this? <sighs> Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Wands. Five of Swords. Oof. Two of Cups. You guys are going to have a conversation about this connection. It could be coming from a Taurus. But you guys are going to have some sort of conversation. I don't know who's going to reach out to who first. I'm not really sure. But there's a conversation being had here in your outcome surrounding the games that were played, surrounding somebody being really defensive, surrounding this connection, because you and this person do have a very strong connection, um, surrounding the fact that somebody is too scared to commit in this situation. Um, and so, yeah, there's going to be a conversation that comes surrounding that. What's the outcome of this conversation? Six of Wands, a victory, okay, strength, and Three of Pentacles. So there is an energy here of being able to work through the obstacles here. So whatever that looks like for you in your situation, you guys are having this conversation, and it does lead to a victory. You guys are able to overcome the obstacles. You guys are able to be able to work together to build to, um, yeah, I'm getting negotiation to work together on something. Come to an agreement about something here. All right. What does this person want to say to my Pisces? I can't admit that I'm wrong. Okay. Some of you could be connecting with a Leo, um, but somebody that's very prideful, even that has a hard time admitting that they're wrong. This person may know that they're in the wrong, but they haven't really admitted that yet. And that could be what's coming out in the outcome as well. What does this person want to say to my Pisces? For Pisces, June 2022, what does this person want to say? Woo! A lot to say. Um, bottom of the deck. Being apart has been more difficult than I can accept. All right, let's take a look. Pisces. Let's see, you guys got a lot of messages here. What do they want to say to my Pisces? I'm in a dark place right now. We come from different worlds, so there could be a lot of differences here between the two of you, right? Um, I couldn't go against my family to be with you. Being apart has changed my life. Can you forgive me? Can you try to understand? I couldn't handle your words when you were upset with me. It was too painful. My childhood was difficult and it still affects me. I want you to believe in me again. I'm sorry for leaving you hanging. I'm trying to be deserving of you. You understand me better than anyone else. And our relationship was different and special. Other people didn't understand it. All right. So Pisces, that's what I have for you. Um, I hope that resonated. I hope that brought you guys clarity to your situation. Make